Pangocon 2015 KDE. there was updates going like crazy on the KDE packages <coughs> I was running. Yeah. And they had they had shifted most of them now in our okay. plasma five. And Arch is a rolling update, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So you don't have to wait for a milestone. Right. Correct. All right. Yeah. Big packages are going to be in a testing repo for a couple of weeks before they hit the main ones. So yes, it's really mm -hmm. released, but it's not same day for Every Unless you use the AUR, which I'm not. I've seen, yeah. a, few things use, <laughs> I've well, seen a few things take a month in ARCH to come in before, depending mm -hmm. on what, mm -hmm. what they find mm -hmm. in testing. I remember the Gnome engine, at least a couple of times, were held back for a month in the past. There, my, I don't know if they've done it this weekend because I haven't run an update, but they're still running a 319's kernel. Yeah. As of Friday. Mm -hmm. Usually, kernels are major kernel versions. No, I've seen where they've done it within a week usually. It's okay. been in the AUR for so uh, long. Kernel 4.0? Huh? Kernel 4.0? Yeah. Is it in testing? Oh, <coughs> you're right. I think they it did go yeah, to testing. I saw that last week. It goes in testing. What I like to do is check the testing forum and yeah. see what people are complaining about. And I usually <laughs> tell you why it's not in its stable yet. 4.0 yeah. not considered stable yet. I'm just kind of curious, um, while we wait for our presenter, um, how many people in here run Arch as their major uh, distro? <coughs> my how many in here are run Kubuntu? Well, I say major. <laughs> <laughs> what other ones are people running? I'm on Ubuntu GNOME. Okay. I'm mostly known Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. Fedora. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, of course that. My desktop would be running OpenSUSE if I hadn't run into some uh, update trouble that did something to the boot loader. It really hasn't just previous conditions and stuff like that thing. Mm. Are you using Grub? What? Are you using Grub as your boot loader? Uh, <coughs> on the desktop, yes. Um, so that's distro default. Um, also run into some trouble on that computer because the partition setup was done back when like 100 meg or so was actually a relatively sensible size for a boot partition. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and you can't put your boot partition in LVM. <laughs> uh, um, because if your package manager doesn't clean up old kernels fast enough, you run out of space. So you have to do that manually if you want to do it. Yeah, but the thing is, if I, if I forget to do that, before the next time um, I have a reboot forced on me. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> like, you okay, problems. where's that live image? <laughs> <laughs> Which distro are you running? Um, uh, OpenSUSE, uh, is it? Oh. I've lost track of version numbers, but I want to say it's like 13.1 or something on, the, on my desktop. My desktop's like, uh, like an old P4, like with two gigs of RAM, so it's not... Well, somebody told me that OpenSUSE is huge. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a lot of packages you don't necessarily install. Well, he was telling me that you pretty much hit... He was telling me that because they keep the international library that they've got tons of videos that you basically get, just get dumped on all those help files that are in all the different no, languages. I don't think so. I had... Yeah. Open Goosey on, on my husband's laptop for a while, and I don't remember that. I've installed it at the VM with only uh, okay. 20 gig disk, and there was plenty of room left over. Okay, well, maybe yeah. I will maybe I look at it. Because that, that's my only alternative I can think of for my so, laptop is either Kubuntu I mean, or Open Goosey. Like, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't remember that. We, we had to move to Open Goosey. And we run scientifically. Keep me in good fedora if we're trying. <laughs> oh, you do? Yes. Yeah. It's a kind of main so I don't like the so so Really? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Actually, yeah, because I was just talking about scientific well, well, I don't mind it for uh, It uh, seems like a couple young couple weeks ago. Uh, uh, the fact yeah. that yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fermi Lab, I think, was maybe 10 years ago. I correct. I think Fermi Lab was a lot Unless you're actually using deep package or RPM commands, 
Yeah, you know, the actual choice of distributions. <laughs> it's not a question of which one's better. And the, doing what, is it, what is the term? The upstream I mean, event? It, yes. The yeah. 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 I didn't yeah. realize that. The I, was, I was on the site there kind of you looking around. And it was a little bit of research. Yes, yeah, it is. It is. I did not refer to it right now. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. For a while. Like, um, I, I know that lawyer's gone. I know that lawyer's gone. Now it's kind of. So I hated it. Yeah. I hated it. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. you couldn't yeah. have yeah. anything yeah. for it very yeah. easily. Yeah. And How long have you been doing that? Typing a dash well, was annoying. So, so like, you had to do like a press bolt or a symbol. Yes. <laughs> 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 okay. 